In this video, I'm gonna show you a complete wrist warm-up and strengthening routine that you can do before any kind of exercises or workouts where you're gonna put a lot of weight onto your wrists. Like for example, if you're gonna do things like handstands, push-ups, planches, or any of those kind of exercises. <music> Hey everybody, how you all doing? Peter Carvel here from sixpackfactory.com. Now last week guys, I had someone asking if I can do a video on wrist warm-up techniques and strengthening techniques. So what I'm gonna do today is show you some of the wrist warm-up and strengthening exercises straight out of my bodyweight evolution challenge that I give all my clients to do before any of the workouts to make sure they are ready to do all the bodyweight exercises like push-ups, bike presses and so forth. And before we get started, don't forget that you can get access to all my products, including the Bodyweight Evolution Challenge, 100% free as a club member. And you can learn more about how to become a club member right now over at sixpackfactory.com forward slash club. But let's get going with today's wrist warm up and strengthening your routine. So for me, the first thing, I just like to get myself nice and relaxed on my toes and then I always just like to start doing some mobility exercises. We all know these exercises. so just wrist rolls, five to the inside, five to the outside. And I'm gonna go through these exercises, guys. You can do them for longer, shorter. You can go through the routine two or three times over, depending on how you feel and how you feel your wrists might need more or less work. But you can basically just do 10 rolls in, 10 rolls out. Then I like to clasp them together. And you really wanna roll them. It's not just, let me do stuff like this. So over, 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 over. So. Get through that, do about 10 of those. Then while we're sitting here, before we get onto the floor, I just like to also stretch out the wrist, but also we're starting to get into the forearm muscles now and the ligaments. So that's always good to also increase the flexibility and mobility. And then you can keep each of those for 10, 15 seconds if you want. Go the opposite. When we're done here, I like to sort of pull every finger because we will as you will see later on, once you get into that weight bearing into your hand, it's also good to get sort of into a grip motion. So the weight goes here, but then you use your fingers to also help with balance further. So then we also just go to the other side. Turn them over. I'm going through these very quickly, guys. You can keep them for longer. I just want to show you the whole routine. Okay, then we just go with each of the fingers. Nice and easy. Now we'll make it a little bit harder and we're gonna do similar exercises, but now you're gonna put those wrists down, get them nice and close together, and then you start leaning back and work at your own flexibility. Don't feel you have to go all the way down and stuff like that. If it stretches, then you are doing well. Just keep it there, okay? You don't have to bounce. You can keep it there for 10, 15, 20 seconds again, okay? Then we'll do the opposite. And when you start going to the top of your hands, this will be very uncomfortable for a lot of people because we really don't put a lot of weight on this top of your arm. So although it might feel uncomfortable in the beginning, just do your best and see what you can do because it's still a great exercise to warm up that joint and also add some flexibility, mobility into the top part of the hand, okay? Okay, so you keep it there again for 10, 15 seconds. Then I'm gonna put my hands together like this and just coming up nice and straight and you start moving towards the side. As you go through this, start adding more and more weight to your wrist so you can start really getting in there and also start working on strengthening them and not just warming them up, okay? And then you can also go back and forward here. With these, once again, five or 10 on each side is perfect. Nice and easy. Okay, and then whenever you feel you need some more break, you can always just do these kind of things, just rolls. I also, they call it doggy paddling, which is really nice and relaxing for your wrist if you just do stuff like this. And you can always just roll it out like that as well. And give yourself a break. Don't feel you have to go through all of this. Your wrist will start getting a little bit sore as you start going through this routine already, but that's great. You know, it's, you're already starting the, the strengthening process and also something that we call osteoblast, which is what's responsible for increasing your bone density, which is ultimately what we're working on here. Remember, 
this joint wasn't really ever developed to have a lot of weight on it or to be a weight-bearing bone. But that doesn't mean, or this joint doesn't mean it can't bear weight, okay? So as we start developing as anything in your body, if you start using it more, your bone will become stronger, denser, and that's what you want ultimately because that's gonna mean the joint becomes stronger as well. You just always have to work within your own ability. Okay, guys, then what I like to do is I also like to just get back onto the front of the hands and don't put a lot of weight under this, especially if you're new to all of this, otherwise it will simply cause a lot of pain. So you just get yourself here and then you do slight push-ups on them, okay? Don't worry about going all the way down. It's just about getting into that weight-bearing exercise as we're now moving towards that strengthening your wrist a little bit more, okay? So you just do that. You can also go here and do that if you want, okay? You can also take it the other way around and do sort of that if you want, okay? I like to just do this one. It's a more natural movement, okay? Then you get your hands nice and shoulder worth properly underneath your shoulder and start doing all those things that we mentioned now, okay? So you're now getting into that routine of, let me just move back a little bit. You can see I'm moving out of the screen here. So you start focusing on where your weight should go. You bring those biceps forward, tuck your elbows in, squeeze towards the hands towards each other. And then also you can you know, grab with your wrists, uh, with your fingers if you want. And then I start getting into adding a bit more weight to it, okay? So now we're doing this little rotational movement. Really nice. And then you can also just go all the way forward, see as far as you can go, comfortably, no pain, and then, or not too much pain, and then you bring it back, okay? This is great for developing that mobility and flexibility you might need when you do things like planches, for example, especially, okay? And guys, then I'll actually start adding a lot of weight onto it by getting into an actual push-up position. You contract everything, push through your shoulders, and then you do the same kind of thing. And this is now where we're really gonna start working into the strength and developing the wrists. Okay, and then we can once again move forward and back, forward and back, forward and back. And guys, that's pretty much my whole routine. I will then just shake it out again. You'll feel it feels really nice when you do this. And your wrist will pretty much be ready to rock and roll. Then I always like to push it to a point where you can really start sweating a little bit, but also start feeling a little pain because then you start developing that osteoblast process in the bone to start getting it stronger. Now, as far as developing pure strength and making this joint really strong, it really comes down to actually just doing those exercises, the, the weight-bearing exercises like your handstand, like the push-up, like the planches, with those things. The more you do it, the more you're gonna develop the strength in this joint. Your bone will get denser, stronger, etc., etc. You'll develop more mobility, flexibility through the muscles and tendons in your wrist, and that is ultimately how you're gonna develop the strength to continue and feel less pain as you go through this. But always work within your own level as far as your mobility, flexibility. You will know there comes a point where you feel excruciating pain and then you start backing off, okay? Because then you might have actually injured something and you need to be careful. Never try and push yourself to that point. When your wrist starts feeling a little bit sore, a little bit tired, give yourself a break. Go through some of these mobility exercises, you know, the doggy paddling, that sort of thing. It really just relaxes your wrist again. Give it some more strength again. Because remember, it's also a lot of muscles that's involved here. All the way from, you know, your elbow, everything comes into your wrist and into your fingers. So all those things is working together. So you need to give it a break and not just keep pushing it until it gets to the point where it's injured because then you're gonna start finding yourself having to go through many months of rehabilitation before you can come back to this point. So take it nice and easy, take it nice and slow, do this little warm-up routine and these exercises before you do any kind of weight-bearing exercises that's gonna really put a lot of weight and stress into your wrist. But guys, this is gonna help you get ready, get warmed up for any kind of workout you wanna do. As always, if you like this video, click on the like button and subscribe if you wanna see more regular videos like this. Thank you very much for watching and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye-bye.